Hey everyone, in this in this video we're going to look at using Ansible to automate Cisco Nexus switches that in the back end is using the new NX API that is now on the Nexus 9K and 3K and coming soon in other Nexus platforms. So the first thing is just to review a few slides uh, looking at the two modules we're going to review. So the first one is called NXAPI underscore interface. And this module is going to be used to um, configure and just manage the physical interface attributes that exist on a Nexus switch. And you know, here there are several parameters that can be used for this module. The first one is, is the interface. Then there's the state. Description, admin state, speed, duplex, and mode. Some of these are self-explanatory. Um, you know, for example, the description for the interface, admin state, speed, and duplex. You know, all of those are fairly straightforward. State is used quite often to, you know, uh, declaratively state what state you want the interface to be in in terms of the configuration we're going to have within an Ansible playbook. And we'll see what this means, you know, as we walk through a demo. And interface, there's two options here. The first option is to use the more traditional approach, which is a, the full name of an interface, ETH11, VLAN10, port channel 10, and this goes by the syntax on the actual device. And when we use the single name of the interface, the module is item potent, you know, which is very traditional in the DevOps world, meaning if the device is already in the desired states, we will not be making a change to the device. And again, we'll see that in the output. However, if you want to do a quick a quick config, admin down all interfaces, admin up all interfaces, if you want to remove all SVIs, loopbacks, and port channels, different things like that, we could use one of five special keywords that today, at this point, these keywords, when they're used, are not item potent, but that will be coming in the future as well. Okay. The second module is to manage VLAN resources. Okay. So this one, again, self-explanatory. There'll be various parameters that are used, and this and these slides, you know, map very nicely to how Ansible portrays and has their own documentation on Ansible.com. So this aligns, you know, very nicely to what they have. Okay, so we're just gonna, and again, here's you know very similar things: VLAN ID, uh, VLAN name, the state. Do we want to make sure this configuration is on the device that it's present? or that it's it's absent and removed on the device. And this module is, is fully item potent, okay? So these are just two modules that we're gonna review today. But if you look in the future of what I have planned, the first thing is, just as an FYI, I'll be posting the code for these modules on my GitHub account at github.com slash jedelman8. And I have some roadmap things planned, you know, configuring anything from port channels to virtual, you know, virtual port channels, VTP, MTU, VRFs, L2, L3 interfaces, uh, various things like that. If if you want to see anything in particular, or if if you are an end user or a customer that is looking to leverage Ansible to automate an environment, you know, with Cisco, Arista, you know, any other network vendor, you know, please definitely. Uh, reach out you know, I would love to to work together and and co-develop some of these modules a bit further as well okay so with that said what we're gonna do is, is dive in and and build a basic Ansible playbook that that will be used to automate interfaces and VLANs on two Nexus 9000 switches okay all right so the first thing is we have our you know clean slate Workbook and workbooks are created in YAML, and you know right now I'm using the Sublime Text to Editor. Okay, so the first thing we have to do because this is YAML is create our three, you know, put our three hyphens up top. Okay, then what we do, typical Ansible fashion, is we're going to give our give our play a name, and we're just going to say automating Nexus switches. Okay. Okay. Then we have to define which hosts we want to automate. So we're going to say we're going to automate the switches that are in the spine group. So if we look in the host file, the host file <coughs> has a group called spine. We have two hosts in here, N9K1 and N9K2. 
and if we just do a quick ping, you know, we can see that these switches, you know, these switches are indeed active. Okay, so we'll just minimize minimize this for now. So we're going to be automating two spine switches today. Connection is going to be local, and gather facts will be no. And these connection and gather facts are used predominantly when you're leveraging the default behavior of Ansible because we're using custom modules that are using a different API, we want to, to disable um, gather facts and again, use connection local, okay? So once we have uh, you know, these four parameters uh, defined, what we want to do is, is define the tasks that we want to automate for this given environment, okay? Name is total arbitrary. And you know this can, you know, be removed or included, right? You know, I typically use name just to you know have a good feel for what's happening during the playbook execution. So we will keep that. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to config interfaces for a VPC pure link, and this is just physical attributes of these interfaces. Okay. So the next thing is the name of the module. And this name of the module maps back to what we just saw in those PowerPoint slides. So if we do NXAPI interface, now we put the parameters that are supported, okay? So here we're gonna see in a second what this means, but we'll do interface equals item. The curly braces, braces mean item is a variable, and we'll cover that in just a second as well. Item, the interface description, we'll say, equals N9K1 to N9K2. And we'll just add in here, peer like, okay. Close that up. And we have an extra equal sign in here. Okay. Mode is layer two. So we want this to be a layer two port. If we wanted to have the equivalent of no switch port, then that would be mode equals layer three. And the host we want to configure here is equal to what's in the inventory file. So inventory host name, again, is a variable because it's in between curly braces and inventory host name is a special variable in Ansible that maps back to specifically what's in the host file. So this will be replaced with N9K1 and N9K2 as we iterate through our tasks. But if you remember, we used the item keyword here now what we want to do is do with items and say ethernet 1.1 and ethernet 1.2. Okay, so these two interfaces will be looped through. So both of these interfaces will have the same description, have the same mode configured, you know, for N9K1 and N9K2. Okay, so with items is essentially, you know, a for each loop that's happening, you know, for the Senex API interface module. Okay. The next thing we want to do is, is configure the interface for the for a VPC peer keep alive link. Okay. We're also gonna do something very similar. So just in the effort of time, you know what we'll do is we'll just copy and paste this from up top. Okay. And I could have just added a third interface to the list up top, ETH11, ETH12, and ETH212. But in the future, I'll be adding a second interface and we might need to change characteristics of this interface. And we also want a, you know, it's a unique description here. So that's is why we're breaking it out into, into a separate task, okay? So if we do N9K1, same thing to N9K2, and we'll just say peer, Keep alive, link. Okay. All right, cool. So then now we have three interfaces being configured here. Now we're going to add one more interface, and now we'll see what it's like to not use a loop. This is a more traditional and straightforward way to do it. So we'll do config downlinks to leaf switches. And right now we're only doing this, only doing for one now. So we have a single a single top rack that we're going to configure. Okay. And 
and now we'll just hit this equal to Ethernet Ethernet 2.1 because that's our download interface to connect to the Nexus 3000. Okay, so we can just say description equals connects to 3K. Okay, again mode is layer two and host. Inventory host name. Okay. So we have three tasks configured here. We're just gonna save this file. Come back here to our to our terminal. Navigate to our Ansible directory. We can do an ls. So right now, you know, this is our this is our playbook right here. Nexus automation.yaml. So what we want to do is you know is is run this real quick. Clear this out. And if we say Ansible playbook nexus automation .yaml. so that was again yeah that's fairly quick just a few seconds so we saw we saw all these changes uh, being made so if we want we could actually go into the device. via SSH just to confirm. So I know everyone likes to always confirm that these changes work successful. So we see here ETH11, we see our description. We see our 21 to the 3K description and our other description here. So those interfaces, you know, took just fine, okay? Now what happens if we run this playbook again, up arrow, playbook, we see these are green because again, these modules are item potent. So we're not making a change to the device if it's already in the desired state, which is which is awesome, okay? So we're gonna keep going here. We're gonna add one more task. And we're just gonna say, ensure proper VLANs are getting, are, we'll just say, are deployed. And here we're going to use the NX API VLAN module. Okay, so we're going to use we're going to use a hash or a dictionary to iterate through. So what this looks like is, you know, we're going to have a VLAN our VLAN ID. But this is going to be item dot VLAN ID, and we'll see why this is in a second. Name equals item dot name. So we're just going to configure the VLAN ID and the VLAN name. And we're going to say host equals, again, the same thing. Inventory host name. And in both of these modules, the state is set to present. So we don't have to hard code at the present, but if we wanted to, you know, we can always say state is, state is present, just so we know explicitly what is happening. And we, we use with items in the first two tasks, and we're gonna use with items again here, but this time we're gonna be using a hash. Or it's essentially a list of dictionaries. So we're gonna say VLAN ID is 10, name web, Say VLAN ID 20, name app, and we'll just show the different format that we can use for dictionaries or hashes. You know, we can also do single line configuration of deployments, VLAN ID 30, name DB, okay. So we're going to save this again, come back here to our ter terminal, clear the screen. We're going to rerun the playbook. And the first two tasks should stay green because they're already in the desired states. And the third task we should see amber because VLANs are getting deployed on the switch. So we see green, proper VLANs we see getting changed. Very good. And this happened for N9K1 and N9K2 in just a few seconds. So if we go back here on N9K1, get rid of that, we'll do a show VLAN. We now see VLANs 10, 20, and 30. And again, should we 
want to go back in to our second switch to verify, we can do show VLAN here, three VLANs, and we can also do the descriptions, obviously, from the first few tasks are also valid in this switch. So this is just a high level overview of what can be done, you know, with Ansible network automation. You know, this is, um, you know, showing the speed and efficiency, um, but obviously there's a lot more benefits, you know, that comes with automation that I'm going to go into in, in some future posts and videos. Hope this was, you know, worth your time. You know, feel free to reach out with any questions, you know, around the demo, around the code. And again, if you're looking to dive into you're working with NX API in general, you know, feel free to reach out. Or again, if, if you're trying to do some custom integration with Ansible and Nexus, um, I am available to um, just to just have a chat. All right, talk to you soon, and thanks for watching.